New F-22 Raptor After Upgrade Shocked the World the F-22 Raptor, the winner of the Collier Award, has fulfilled its promise to offer unmatched air dominance. The fifth-generation F-22 is the best air dominance fighter in the world thanks to its exceptional blend of stealth, speed, agility, and situational awareness, as well as lethal long-range air-to-air and air-to-ground weaponry. The Raptor has never been something that should be shared, and now that it has been improved as part of the sixth-generation NGAD program, it has become even more unique the United States Sixth Generation Program, also known as NGAD, is in charge of creating the family of next-generation systems that will guarantee U.S. air superiority in the most difficult operational environment. NGAD is a vast initiative that aims to develop a system of systems that will include manned jets, unmanned drones, and a new generation of networking technologies. It is much more than just a new fighter. There will be a two-way technology transfer between the F-22 and NGAD, according to the Advanced Technology Department ATD, part of the F-22 squadrons in the budget documents provided by the Pentagon. This means that in addition to the F-22 being used to test NGAD's technology, the Raptors will also adopt technologies created under the NGAD program. It's possible that doing so will hasten the development of these capabilities to the front lines so they can be adjusted and risk reduced before being used by the NGAD platform. This could explain a few of the adjustments made to F-22s employed for testing and strategy development in recent months. One of the most significant changes is the presence of at least three different types of metallic light coatings, which are thought to lessen the aircraft's infrared signature from the front and side hemispheres without sacrificing its radio frequency RF, stealth capacity. If this were to be the case, it would lessen the efficiency of infrared search and track IRST, which relies only on the aircraft's infrared signature and is unaffected by the radar evading design elements of stealth aircraft like the F-22, F-117, and F-35. It is still challenging to conceal these stealth platforms from the increasingly sophisticated IRSTs that are proliferating throughout the world and are present on the majority of fighter aircrafts being flown by peer adversaries, even though these stealth platforms do have built-in measures to help reduce their infrared structures. Recently, F-117s and Navy F-35s have also been spotted with these coatings, although the F-22 seems to be leading the operational testing of this capability. Some of the coatings on the F-22 resemble incredibly complex mosaic patterns. An F-22 jet that surfaced earlier this year had previously unseen low observable pods under its wings. According to reports, these pods are most likely intended to give Raptors the IRST capabilities that the F-22s were initially intended to have under the Advanced Tactical Fighter ATF program, but the idea was later abandoned due to cost concerns. The potential for electronic warfare EW, can also be connected to the pods. However, to maintain the air superiority and sustain its first look, first fire, and first kill capability, the F-22 has been upgraded with IRST sensor capability and EW. The IRST pod can give the Raptor a major advantage when it comes to long-range detection and tracking of opposing aircraft, even stealthy ones that are passive and resistant to electronic warfare. That being stated, it cannot be ruled out that these extremely noticeable characteristics on test-related F-22s are related to NGAD, although it is possible. Low drag tanks and pylons are another significant skill described in the document, which is highly intriguing because it also related to the NGAD technology's test and integration setup. The F-22's major flaw has always been its limited range, which it makes up for by carrying non-stealthy 600-gallon fuel tanks on the underwing pylons for missions where stealth is not absolutely necessary. Although the connecting point and piping would still be partially exposed and could constitute hotspots in its radar cross-section, the pylons can jettison if the operation calls for stealth to allow the F-22 to restore virtually perfect stealth capacity RCS. By including a more effective tank design and a pylon, the new Endeavor aims to extend the range of the F-22 without significantly altering radar cross-sections when compared to a clean F-22 when the tanks and pylons are discarded. The range is essential for carrying out military operations across the Pacific against a significant adversary, China. The disclosure of a missile that was fired from one of the three F-22s may be the most intriguing overall. It is a missile that has never before been found in the U.S. arsenal. 
it is unclear which of the numerous active missile programs is being portrayed here, although it may be the AIM-260 long-range joint advanced tactical missile. The AIM-120 AMRAAM compatibility with the F-22 can fit in roughly the same area as this missile. The AIM-260 is an air-to-air -air missile with a range that is beyond the optical range that was created in response to the sophisticated long-range missiles being developed by possible enemies, such as China's PL-15. Two years after its development started, the AIM-260 made its debut in 2019. As the preferred air-to-air -air missile for the F-A-18EF Super Hornet, the F-35 Lightning II, and the F-22 Raptor, it is anticipated to replace the AIM-120 missiles. The Raptor's ability to use a weapon at least two decades older than it is evidence of its flexibility, and maintaining this flexibility must be one of the reasons the F-22 cannot be exported, 